Good morning and welcome to the First Baptist Church of Kimberling City's RPM Daily Devotionals, reaching the lost for Christ, preparing the saints for service, and magnifying the Lord. Now let's join Associate Pastor James Talley as he brings us today's message. Well, good morning, folks. Uh, glad you could join us here this morning for our morning devotions here. And uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit about uh, some things that God just keeps keeps reminding me. You know, I've, I've talked before about how God teaches me lessons and uh, some of the woodworking that I do and, and simple things and, and reminders of things. You know, last night I was, I was working on some, on, on some projects that uh, had the cross involved. Uh, in fact, they were using our church logo. Uh, and I, I was working on getting, this th- getting everything centered, you know, so the margins were, were correct and everything was straight. And, um, you know, measure here, measure there. And, and I'm like, there's got to be an easier way. There has got to be something that, that is, um, that it's just going to take forever if I have to do all of these and there are, uh, and, and, and I, I have to spend this much time on each one. And then it kind of hit me. The cross is in the center. Make sure you measure everything from the cross. Make sure the cross is centered in all that I do on this project. And God just said, you know, the centrality of the cross is so important. It is primary, uh, of primary importance in everything of our, uh, of our lives. It should be. You know, we see people wear the cross, uh, you know, on a, on a necklace or uh, some sort of jewelry. Uh, we have crosses hanging on our walls, whether in our office or our home or wherever. Um, and, and it's a, uh, a symbol, and it's a, hopefully a reminder to us. Of, of what the cross really means, but sometimes we forget. Sometimes we take it, take it for granted. And so we need to uh, take a step back and remember the message of the cross. Re- remember that the cross is essential to our faith. You know, we're rapidly appro- approaching Christmas. Um, I love Christmas. I love making things for Christmas. As I've said before, I'm kind of becoming like my grandpa and that I, I, I would rather make something for somebody than to go and buy something. Um, some of that is it just scratches that itch of being able to, to m- play and make something. And, and some of it is I, I, I get to feel like I give something meaningful. But as we move towards Christmas at a breakneck pace, we're, we're talking about celebrating the birth of Jesus, and rightfully so. Uh, we, we, should, we should never forget that or, or neglect that. His life was perfect. As he, as, as he moved throughout his, uh, his years on earth, it was perfect, sinless. But without the cross, we have an example, but we don't have the conclusion of everything. We don't have the ulti- the, 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 the finality of things. With the cross, we have our sins taken away. Colossians 2, uh, 13 through 15, says this, And you were dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh. God made alive together with him, having forgiven us all our trespasses by canceling the record of debt that stood against us with its legal demands. This he set aside, nailing it to the cross. The cross was essential for our sins to be taken away. Without the cross, we have, uh, there, is, there is no shedding of blood of Jesus, which was necessary for the remission of sin. Without the cross, we wouldn't have the resurrection. We wouldn't have the empty tomb. The cross literally divided history. And so as we move through such a, a, a busy time of the year, uh, you know, things here at church are busy, things I know in your personal and family lives are busy, um, on top of just all the craziness that's been going on in 2020, keep the cross central in all that you do. Remember to look to the cross, that, uh, that we can reflect on its meaning. We can 
today, I would encourage you to spend some time, whether, whether you have a, a, a concordance or you can go online and, and look up an online concordance and, and just do a search for cross, um, particularly when, we, when you're looking in the New Testament, and, and just think about the meaning of the cross. Um, think, keep, it, keep things centered in your life by using the cross as the reference point. Keep them aligned there. Philippians 3, 17 and 18 says, Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you, and now tell you even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross. The cross is, it is, it is something that is going to remind us, should remind us, of the debt that was paid on our behalf. And many people are walking as enemies of that. Many people are uh, rejecting the message of the gospel. So today... Uh, spend some time re reflecting on that. Keep the cross central. Measure everything by the cross. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for uh, the day that you've laid out ahead of us. God, thank you for the cross. Thank you for the sacrifice of Jesus uh, that, that we could uh, have eternal life because of what he did on the cross. Bless us today as we, as we go throughout it. In Christ I pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us today. We invite you to watch RPM Daily Devotionals each week, Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. on YouTube and Facebook. For more information on First Baptist Church and its ministries, go to fbckc.com. From First Baptist Church of Kimberling City, have a blessed day.